it's Gabrielle, and this video is a sample from StudyClicks Boost, our new rapid revision tool. Go to studyclicks.ie forward slash boost to find out more. Here we're looking at volumes and areas of spheres. Now, a lot of the time, it's important to know the volume of the sphere as they occur in the related rates of change in the calculus or the differentiation section. But in this question, we're given the volume of the sphere in terms of pi to be 288 pi centimeters cubed, and we're asked to find the radius of the sphere. So what we must do is identify what formula to use. And on page 10, we see V, which stands for volume, is equal to 4 thirds pi r cubed. Now, just to note, if they ever say hemisphere, it's half a sphere. So if we want to work at the volume, we divide that by 2, and we end up with a formula of 2 thirds pi r cubed. But on this question, the volume of sphere, change that English into maths. Volume, what shape is it? Sphere is 288 pi. So change that English into maths. How do we say the volume of sphere? We say 4 thirds pi r cubed. Is, is equals 288 pi. Now it's a great advantage, believe it or not, to have the answer in terms of pi, because what we can do is simply cross out the pi's if there's one on both sides of the equation. Now we're left with 4 r cubed over 3 is equal to 288. Just multiplying my fractions top by top, bottom by bottom, or squeezing them together is equal to 288. Now, as there's an equal sign, we can get rid of the fraction. We're cross multiplying or multiplying across by the common denominator. So 288 times 3. Alternatively, I've seen people there say 4 thirds is the same as 1.33333. And then work out our cube by dividing by that 1.3333. Just make sure to include many threes after the decimal point. Now tidy that up for yourselves. 288 by 3 works out to be 864. To work out our cube now, divide by 4. And if you work that out, you get 216. Now to work out r, it's just simply a matter of the cube root of that. And I'll show you that in the calculator. I'll actually show you at the stage of 864 over 4. Sometimes it doesn't work out nicely. So we'll just enter it as the cube root of this fraction. So to get the cube root, yellow button here, shift, and just above the square root, and we'll type it in as the fraction, we'll let on. And we get six centimeters. So the radius of that sphere is six centimeters. Well, now have a wee look at a slightly more difficult problem. And what we've got here is a cube is 16 centimeters in length, a sphere, fits perfectly into the cube, so just touches the edges, find the percentage of space not occupied by the sphere. So we'll draw a quick sketch, we'll see what's happening, I will warn you it's not going to be the best of diagrams, but it'll do the job rightly, and we see how we fare. So believe it or not, not the worst looking diagram, we have a sphere inside a cube. Now fill in the information that they've given us into the picture. A cube which we all know the sides are the same, like two cubed is eight, because it means two by two by two. Here the sides are 16 centimeters. So my length, my width, and my height. Now, since that sphere fits snugly into that there cube, that indicates that the radius of the sphere is half the length of the base. So the radius is eight centimeters. Now we want to work out the percentage of space that's unoccupied. So what they're asking you for is like this shaded area, these bits, where the sphere doesn't touch. So obviously when we work out the volumes of each, the volume of the sphere should be less than the volume of the cube. So it's like a three-step process here. We're gonna work out the volume of the cube, we're gonna work out the volume of the sphere, and then we're gonna subtract the answers. So the first thing, work out the volume of the cube. Now, it's length by width by height, or if you wanted to sound swanky, you could say it's length cubed, since they're all the same, but I'll go old school. We get 4096 centimeters cubed. Now you've got to work out the volume of the sphere. And the volume of the sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. Now don't fall into the trap and take r to be 16. r is 8, which we can see in the picture there. The pi button, just down here below the e, so shift and that by 10 to the power of button. And we get 2048 over 3 pi which I'm going to use as it saves having that mess typed in there as well. And we'll actually just not delete that in our calculator because it's just simply going to be a matter of one number subtracting from another number. 
And that means the volume unoccupied is one minus the other. And all we've got to do there is 4096 minus and use the answer button. So the last number that we had in our calculator. And we get 1951, say to two decimal places, 0.34. Technically, that's not what they've asked, asked me here. They've asked me for the percentage unoccupied. So to work out the percentage, it'll be the amount of space or the volume that was left over, over the total volume, which is 496. And to make anything a percent, just times that fraction by 100. And once again, we can just simply either go divide by 4096, press equals, and then times by 100. Or if you're feeling brave, press your fraction button, answer in the top, so your previous answer, 4096, and then times it by 100. And we get 47.64%.